Welcome to RFO301. This training is designed for Tier 3 Registered Student Organization. My name is Abir. And my name is Saba, and we will be leading this training session. In this training session, we will discuss the resources available for your student organization and the process for planning a major event. We suggest that you share this training with the event planners for traditional and major events in your organization. This training session will be split into two sections, which will review the criteria of a major event, cash handling, wristbands, how to reserve the larger spaces of Harris Theater and Center for the Arts, contracts, risk management, and why collaboration among student organizations is beneficial and valuable. The first session will focus on large event planning, access, and responsibilities. Abir will be covering these topics over the next few minutes. Tier 3 organizations have access to up to $5,000 per academic year. Your organization does not have immediate access to student body funds. Your organization president or treasurer must apply for funding. The application is available at si.gmu.edu. Tier 3 organizations have access to the following spaces. Dewberry, the bistro, the hub ballroom, North, South, and East Plaza, Sub One Quad, Philly Quad, Martin Hall Lawn, as well as the rooms offered to Tier 1 and Tier 2 organizations. You also have access to Reserve Harris Theater and CFA. However, availability of these spaces is very limited and there is a charge associated with utilizing either of these spaces. Major events usually involve a large, num a large number of attendees and are more complex in nature than routine meetings or activities. All individuals or organizations hosting a major event need to contact the appropriate university office in advance of the anticipated event. Very large or complex events or those involving guests may be considered mega events. Because of limited venues that can support major or mega events, organization may only sponsor two major or mega events per semester. Please request for a space for a major event early. Registered student organization may reserve space for uh, reserve space up to two years in advance for any event hosted in a large space on campus. Events management issues an event checklist to the person who originally reserved your major event space. If you are interested in renting Center for the Arts or Harris Theater, please visit cfa.gmu.edu slash rentals for more information. Although renting these places may be costly, please keep in mind that with proper and advanced planning, it is possible. Cash handling and wristband procedures apply to all student-run events with some or all of the following conditions. Cash is collected as an entrance fee or as a donation for the RSO. Cash is collected for donation to an outside organization. Use of wristbands is required for the event to control venue capacity. When an event is scheduled through events management, RSOs must communicate if cash will be exchanging hands. Events management will notify student involvement if cash collection is scheduled to occur. For late night events and major events, a student involvement representative will be assigned to the event. The following steps must be followed for proper cash handling. 30 minutes prior to the start of the event, the student involvement staff member and the designated representative from the RSO will each count the starting case and fill out the cash handling and wristband form and sign it. At the end of the event, all cash will be counted to determine the total amount that needs to be deposited. The amount will be written on the cash handling and wristband form and signed both by both the RSO representative and the student involvement staff member. All money should be placed in a deposit bag provided by the student involvement representative. 
The president or treasurer must pick up the cash at the student involvement office the following business day and deposit the money immediately. Your safety is our greatest concern. Therefore, for events that are deemed late night or major events, wristbands are required for all attendees to ensure the capacity of the space is not exceeded. Student involvement provides the wristbands at no charge. The amount of wristbands will be, will be compliant with maximum occupancy number for the venue. Occupancy numbers can be found at 25live.gmu.edu. Room capacity varies with setup. Once wristbands are all given out and the maximum number of attendees has been reached, no, no one else is allowed to enter the event. Special cases will be addressed where events dictate a different practice. When the last person has either paid to attend and or been provided their wristband, the designee from the RSO and student involvement staff member will count all remaining wristbands and document the final number of attendees on the cash handling and wristband form. Under no circumstances should additional wristbands be given out beyond those provided for the particular event. When requesting services from a non-Mason affiliated vendor or service provider, you are required to submit a contract. This may include a guest speaker, DJ or performer, and external vendors. Keep in mind that there is a difference between paying an honorarium than paying a service or performer. You must submit the contract to student involvement 30 days before the event. You may find the contract by visiting si.gmu.edu, then click on Student Organizations. You can find the Fiscal Management tab on the left-hand side of the page. Scroll to the bottom and you will find a variety of forms. When planning an event, it is always good to prepare for any potential hazards or risks that may be associated with your event. The Office of Risk Management assesses potential risks, recommends action to manage hazards, or suggests the contractual transfer of those risks. If your event involves inflatables, tents, or power cords, or any other potential hazard, please contact student involvement and risk management for proper advisement. The Health and Environmental Safety Office can be of help if you need it as well. If you have any doubts or concerns about the safety of your events, please contact risk management. They will evaluate your event and determine any foreseeable risks, allowing you to make appropriate changes. Thank you for watching RSO301. If you have any questions regarding this training, please email us at rso at gmu.edu. Thank you.